hi there uh, thanks for watching my views and news good to be with you it seems viewers that uh, ethiopian government of the prime minister uh, avi ahmed is under pressure from some international players about the operation in the amhara region uh government is not in opposition to deploy all its assets uh, in the amhara region what is the reason behind that we'll try to analyze this important aspect of the ongoing unrest in the amhara region we know that more than 2 weeks ago ethiopian military launched a new ground offensive on fano fighters in the amhara region ground offensive is ongoing but uh, intensity frequency of drone strikes air strikes uh, has decreased what is the reason i mean ground operations are supported by air strikes and don strikes that is how ground operations are more successful but here we are seeing the last two weeks heavy fighting ongoing in gojum in shoa uh in south gondar in parts of waghemra in parts of wolotu i am not aware of any uh don strikes conducted a strikes conducted so far in the last two weeks why uh, if if you open military does not use its air assets to support infantry to support ground forces it means that military uh, is not deploying all its assets is it a deliberate strategy of military or government Uh, has told the military that military should not uh, conduct don strikes air strikes that air force should not conduct don strikes air strikes it seems it seems that uh, a message has been uh, conveyed to ethiopian air force by the federal government that uh, air force must be very careful ground forces must also be very careful about civilian casualties that is why air force uh, is not resorting to air strikes don strikes uh and one of the reasons behind that maybe is that uh, uh military's uh, intelligence collection intelligence network in amhara region is not very effective another more important reason is that uh, government does not want uh, ethiopian air force to conduct air strikes don strikes which could cause civilian killings because no matter how precise the don strikes and air strikes are there are bound to be civilian casualties collateral damage always happens and sometimes due to faulty intelligence as well civilians die in these attacks so question is why is that government has uh, conveyed this message to ethiopian air force that air force either should not conduct don strike air strikes or it should be dead sure about the target well a uh, reason is very simple this month is crucial for ethiopian government uh this month at the end of this month for the start of next month imf uh, is going to send a top delegation to ethiopia international monetary fund ethiopia has been in talks with imf for more than a year ethiopia is in need of uh, a few billion us dollars its economy in trouble total uh, financing gap faced by the open government is around 11 billion us dollars uh, almost uh, equal to the equal to ethiopian budget but right now ethiopia new need at least 3 to 4 billion us dollars and that is why talks have been ongoing between the imf and world bank for a bailout package ethiopia wants to get a loan of around 3 billion us dollars from uh, imf 
main uh, force behind IMF, the main shareholder behind IMF is the US. And yesterday, US issued a statement, US State Department issued a statement saying that US was concerned at human rights abuses in Ethiopia, in Amhara, in Romia, in the parts of Ethiopia. And US was closely monitoring the situation to assess if there is any pattern of human rights abuses in Ethiopia. At the same time, US State Department warned that uh, reports of uh, arbitrary arrests, civilian killings, and uh, civilian killings in Don Stikes are alarming. And uh, if the pattern if a pattern is established in violation of human rights, it could affect U.S. support for IMF program for Ethiopia. It means U.S. issued a veiled threat to Ethiopia yesterday that uh, if human rights abuses continue in Amhara, especially in Amhara, IMF won't give a bailout package to Ethiopia. It's a very strong message. We know that uh, Pano diaspora activists have been lobbying. They have been meeting with U.S. lawmakers. They have been contacting U.S. lawmakers, asking U.S. lawmakers that U.S. should not give any money to Ethiopia, that U.S. should stop international uh, financial institutions from uh, supporting Ethiopia financially. So those uh, efforts by Amhara diaspora community members are working. And secondly, uh, since day one, since the start of armed uh, conflict in the Amhara region, U.S. has been calling for dialogue. U.S. has issued several statements asking the parties the conflict in Amhara to, to, to talk. Ethiopian government uh, did not take U.S. call for talk seriously. Now, when IMF mission is about to visit Ethiopia, U.S. has issued a statement, making its position clear, telling Ethiopia that if human rights abuses continue, no IMF package for Ethiopia. And if you remember, when people were killed in Mirawi by military in house-to-house -house search operation a few weeks ago, U.S. issued a statement. U.S. condemned civilian killings. U.S. asked uh, Ethiopia to open the region to human rights uh, uh, defenders and to conduct investigation into the deaths of civilians. And then yesterday we saw that uh, U.S. ambassador to Ethiopia, Arvin Messinga, met with uh, the Orthodox Patriarch Abune Matis. And after that, uh, Irwin uh, issued a statement condemning the killing of Ethiopian Orthodox uh, monks who were killed in Ishwa zone of Oromia. Four were killed in Ishwa zone of Oromia a few days ago. So, US is closely monitoring the human rights situation in Ethiopia. It is asking Ethiopian government that it should ensure the protection of the people, of civilians. That is why, reportedly, Ethiopian government at this point of time does not uh, want to uh, conduct don't strikes, a strikes in the Amhara region because if it happens, civilians could die, the national media could start reporting and IMF's uh, visit of Ethiopia uh, could be postponed or Ethiopia might not get a bailout package from the IMF. This is what uh, we have learned. Military has also been told that uh, uh, nothing like Miravi should happen again. And uh, almost a week ago, we saw a report from the Amnesty International. Amnesty International reported about what happened last year in Bahirda regional capital in August and October. In two separate incidents, more than 10 civilians were extrajudicially killed by Ethiopian security forces in the regional capital, Bahirdar, Amhara region of Ethiopia. So, Amnesty's report 
uh, and other human rights organizations, international uh, media outlets reports are pointing towards uh, continued human rights abuses in Ethiopia. That is why uh, this perhaps these coming days uh, would see less don't strikes in the Amhara region. Military will show little restraint. While military has launched, a, by the way, we can uh, question the timing of the military operation as well. At a crucial time, when IMF is about to visit Ethiopia, a new ground offensive has been launched against Fano fighters. Whenever there is ground offensive, civilian killings happen. No matter how hard military tries to avoid civilian killings, women will die. Like people are dying, uh, as is being reported by several uh, news outlets. Maybe military thought it would wrap up the operation in a few days before the uh, visit of IMF delegation. Military would wrap up the operation, but uh, no signs of conclusion to the operation. Rather, Fano fighters are in a better position, maybe now they are entering the town cities in the Amhara region. They entered by Dar, Shorob, the Debrasina. They will enter other town cities too in coming days. You will see that. So, this is perhaps the time for Fano fighters to uh, accelerate their attacks, and they will do that, I think, because they know that right now government uh, cannot afford to start uh, a major air campaign against Fano fighters. Maybe if IMF, uh, IMF uh, delegation's visit to Ethiopia fails, or if it postpones, we could see then introduction of drones and jets to conduct precision strikes on Fano fighters in the Amhara region. Thank you for watching.